Aloha everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name is Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. Dr. Jot, the super, super popular Korean skincare brand that has made its way into the West. And by the West, I mean us, North and South America, and Europe. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Dr. Jart, some of the products that I have used, and my overall thoughts of the brand. But as I do with a lot of brands, I have a lot of thoughts because there are some things that I like about this brand and there are some things that girl, I don't like. So let's get into it. I would say Dr. Jart is a luxury skincare brand that focuses on more modern, innovative technologies, but also merging the Eastern and the Western skincare realms, which I think is pretty cool to see the two worlds kind of merge together. I'm going to be talking about my personal experiences with one specific line that they have, and that is the Sika Pear line, of which I recently got this little pack. It's so freaking cute, but it comes with four of the products from their Sika Pear line, which I believe is their most popular line with like their most popular products. I'm not 100% sure of that, but from what I've seen, those are the most popular products that they carry. In this set comes their Tiger Grass Calming Mist, their Tiger Grass Cream, their Tiger Grass Cream with SPF 30, and their Tiger Grass Serum. I think I got that all right. You can find this at like Sephora. I'll leave a link in the description box below. This line is specifically targeted towards people who have more red, irritated, or compromised skin. A lot of people with rosacea love this line. And it focuses on one primary ingredient, tiger grass, which is a nickname for Centella Asiatica extract, which is also known as Pennywort. There's, there's a lot of names for it, okay? But basically Centella is what the most popular name of it is. You can find Centella Asiatica in almost like every single Korean skincare product out there, especially the ones that have come out within the last year because it is all the craze right now. People are dropping dollars for Centella products, of which I am included. Guilty. And as far as what Centella is supposed to do is it's really supposed to calm down any redness and irritation within the skin. It's considered to have healing properties, but the thing is, is that research for healing has only been done on rats where healing properties were found. And within humans, there hasn't been a lot of research on the medicinal benefits of Centella extract. However, I always maintain that just because there aren't scientific studies out there proving the benefits of an ingredient does not mean that the ingredient doesn't work. I have found Centella to be very good for my skin because it it calms down the redness a lot, of which I desperately need because I am so red all the time from all the sun exposure in Hawaii, I swear to God. So many people always ask me like, Hiram, why do you look so red? And I'm like, do you know me? This is how I always look. If you do want to see more research that's been done, I have linked a Lab Muffin article below. You can read more about it there. But yeah, I personally think Centella is an amazing ingredient and I think it's awesome that so many Korean brands are integrating it into their products. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get into the nitty-gritty, the actual products themselves. So even though I'm just going to be talking about these products from Dr. Jart in this video, a lot of what I'm going to say applies to the brand overall and what I have seen from the majority of their products. All right, so like normal fashion, I'm going to be ordering these from my least favorite to my favorite. Let's start with the first product, the Sika Pear Tiger Grass Calming Mist. Honestly, I'm not even going to focus on this product. Personally, I don't see a lot of benefits in mist and I'm really not a mist person and basically like any benefits that you could possibly see from this, you can also see in their other products. So honestly, I'm not even going to pay any mind to this. It has a nice spray. It's a little bit of a heavier spray instead of like a super nice mist, but you know, it's fine, whatever, moving on. These three products I am excited to talk about. So my next favorite product was their signature Tiger Grass Cream. This product is formulated with a lot of really thick hydrating ingredients, which makes it a really good match for someone with dry skin, which is where it isn't immediately appealing to me considering that I do have more oily skin. However, a lot of people with really sensitive skin tend to have really dry skin as well. So I could see this being a really good match. The ingredient list of this product is formulated with a lot of hydrating and emollient ingredients, which basically means you're gonna get a really good seal and lock of moisture across your skin, which is great for anyone who does have compromised skin because that can really help to make sure your skin isn't being irritated by a lot of like environmental pollution or different things that could trigger reactions. In addition, niacinamide is high up on the ingredient list. And it's also formulated with a lot of hydrating seed oils, which are also good antioxidants just to make sure to protect you from a lot of potentially irritating things in the environment. However, this product and pretty much all their other products is formulated with a list of essential oils. The essential oils this has is lavender oil, grapefruit oil, rosemary oil, rosewood oil, as well as other essential oils. If you don't know my opinion on essential oils, I highly recommend watching my video on fragrance and skincare. I talk a lot about it there, but I am personally not a fan of essential oils. While 
yes, some essential oils do have some beneficial properties. They can honestly turn toxic so quickly and can pose as really high risks for the skin. Every essential oil is different, so each of them are very unique, but when it comes to fragrant essential oils, they are damaging to the skin and can accelerate aging as well as sensitivity issues, which I find highly ironic because this line is catered towards people with really sensitive skin. So why would you formulate your product with really irritating ingredients? for sensitive skin. There seems to be this big belief that essential oils are really good remedies for people with more compromised or sensitive skin because it's natural. And natural is always better because like the earth. No, that's not the case. When it comes to any type of plant extract, you are increasing the likelihood of sensitivity on your skin. And if I'm gonna increase that sensitivity, I want it to be a really good plant extract that has a lot of amazing properties instead of just one that's in there solely to make it smell good. So right away when I was looking through the ingredient list, I was like, oh boy. Here we are with the whole fragrance and skincare routine. So that automatically is a big dock down for me on this product. However, I have to say when I used this product, I saw amazing results, specifically on the areas of my skin that were very dry, like my cheeks. Sometimes my cheeks can tend to get a little irritated because they are really dry or when they are overly exposed to the sun. And this product always came in clutch when it came to like reducing the redness. It does such a good job. And even when I've had reactions on my under eye area, this cream works well. All right, on to the next favorite product. It is their Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment with SPF 30. Now, this is a moisturizer with a green-like tint to it to offset any redness in the face. And in addition, it's also formulated with an SPF of 30, specifically a mineral sunscreen, which I love. You know, I am a fan of mineral sunscreens. The main focus of this one being zinc oxide, which is the best for preventing any type of sun damage. Now I gotta give it to Dr. Dry. This is a genius product, and I honestly think that the entire success of the Sika Pear line pretty much hangs on off of this product. It is so good because I can tell you as someone with red skin, it is so difficult trying to get that redness down to where you don't look like you're constantly blushing. And usually the only solution is to wear makeup and I'm like, bitch, I don't wanna wear makeup. Not because there's anything wrong with makeup, I just don't wanna cake a lot of stuff on my skin. I want the skincare to be the correcting treatment. And this product really provides a solution to people like me. As you can notice, the cream itself does have a green tint to it. And when you use it across the skin, you'll notice that there is an immediate difference you will see any redness covered up. If you don't know what color correcting is in makeup, green is on the opposite of the color spectrum from red. So by adding this green cream to your red skin, you are offsetting the redness, making your skin look more neutral toned. Looking at the ingredients, the second ingredient is Centella Asiatica leaf water, which I think is impressive because whenever I see the primary ingredient that they're talking about as one of the top ones, I am impressed. However, I do have to say it is Centella Asiatica leaf water, and when it's diluted in water, the benefits that you're supposed to be getting are diluted a lot. So I do think this is impressive, but as, am I like, wow, like I'm instantly in love with this ingredient list? No. Niacinamide is also really high up on the ingredient list, which is awesome because I love niacinamide. It's great for controlling oiliness on your face, but at the same time, like niacinamide is literally in like almost every single Korean skincare product out there, I swear, at least the most recent ones. So while it's great, I don't see it as like, wow, really pushing the boundaries. It's just kind of on trend for Korean skincare. But similar to the other product, this is formulated with that same essential oil complex. And honestly, for the entire Seek Pair line, I'm finding like the exact same essential oils, which likely means that they just made their signature scent for this line, which is compromised of each of those essential oils. And coming to my favorite product in this line is the Tiger Grass Serum. Now, this one is such a contradicting item because not gonna lie, when I was first using this product, I did not look at the ingredient list and oh my goodness, the results in my skin were so good. This does such a good job of reducing the redness, but it feels so lightweight on the skin. Every single time I was exposed to a lot of sunlight at my job, I would just slather this on and see just an amazing reduction of redness over the course of like the next hour or two. It works so well. So when I went to the ingredient list, I was like, this is surely gonna have such a high concentration of all the good ingredients not really. And when you look at what the signature ingredient of this product is supposed to be, which is Centella Asiatica, it's found like at almost the very bottom of the ingredient list, which is so ironic. I'm like, why are you going to advertise that as the primary ingredient, but they include it at the very bottom of your ingredient list? This includes the same essential oil complex that is found in the other products that I was talking about. In addition, this includes a high concentration of yarrow extract, which is a highly irritating ingredient similar to essential oils, just not good for the skin. And this brings up a really interesting discussion that I've kind of talked about on my channel a little bit, but it's about the short-term results versus the long-term results. 
And I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, that's so confusing because I absolutely love the results of this product, but after seeing the ingredient list, I'm likely not gonna use it again. A lot of times when I will shit talk a product or a brand on my channel because of the highly irritating ingredients that it has, a lot of people will comment and be like, oh my gosh, but I saw such amazing results in my skin. My skin has never looked better. This has helped me so much. I'm gonna keep using it. And in my belief, there is a problem with that because with a lot of irritating ingredients, specifically fragrance and essential oils, the short-term benefits of those ingredients can oftentimes be really good. Essential oils are known for having some calming like abilities to reduce any redness within the face. But like I talked about before, essential oils and fragrance ingredients can turn toxic so easily and then pose as a really damaging risk to your skin. But the skin is really good at hiding the damage that it's going through. It's the same reason why we'll go tanning for a few hours and then we don't see the sunburn until way afterwards when we come back from the beach and we realize that we are burnt to a fucking crisp. I may or may not be triggered by my own personal experiences when I say that. So this damage that is happening to our skin every single day from these type of ingredients isn't going to be seen until way down the road, sometimes years later. Which is why I'm so picky about which ingredients are in my skincare products because I don't want to pay for an item that's just going to contribute to my aging cycle that I'm gonna to have to fight years down the road. And that's the painful and frustrating thing about this brand. And coming to the topic of what my opinion is of Dr. Jar overall, I think they're a good brand and they're bringing a lot of revolutionary ingredients to the Western world that haven't really been seen here before. They have good products that target really specific concerns, which is why I think they're so successful. And one thing that I also appreciate is that they don't use the blanket term fragrance in their ingredient list. Instead of like detailing each of the essential oils that they use to make the product smell good, they could have easily just labeled that under the single word fragrance and we would have no idea what type of ingredients they're formulating with. So I really do appreciate the transparency and the honesty. In addition to that, I do think that their products are kind of expensive. Like not gonna lie, $52 for a standard moisturizer is like a little pricey. That's it's a little much. Especially when you compare them to other Korean beauty brands that formulate with the same type of ingredients without any fragrance. A lot of those products will be like $8. Like they aren't so drastically different that I'm like, wow, I am more than willing to pay this much money because you have such unique ingredients. So it's just not really enough to justify the price point for me. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably finish up these products because I don't wanna waste and then I will wave boo Bye to Dr. Jart. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. I really want to hear what your thoughts are. If your opinions, do you like essential oils? Do you not? I want to hear it all. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. I just hit 3 million views on YouTube. What the fuck? So thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah.